Training equipment here we call a Sursingal. A lot of people use it to start young horses with. Um, it's real good getting a horse used to girth pressure before you put a saddle on them. It's a little bit easier to handle so you can get it on them um, and get them desensitized to girth pressure before you get a saddle on. And then also you can line off and you can do all kinds of things, bedding um, before you even on the horse if you, if you want to go that route. Um, I use it on my young horse before I put a saddle a lot. I'll get them used to this and then I'll just put the saddle on and if I think they're ready to ride, I'll start riding them. Some people do a lot of long lining, uh, bedding and lunging, that type of thing. But um, the sourcing is basically a kind of a leather strap, different rings here where you can attach reins. And then it's got a crouper. This goes under the tail. And the reason for the crouper is just to keep the surcingle in place on the horse. If you have kind of a draw running through here, this will tend to pull the surcingle on the horse's withers and uh, get it in a spot that you don't want it. So this will just uh, keep it back there. Horses typically will object the first time they feel the crouper underneath their tail. So it's something they've got to get used to and you've got to get a uh, desensitize them to it. Um, some horses just never will wear a crouper for whatever reason, and uh, but with uh, most horses you can get them pretty good. Then I also like these croupers that's got buckles on both sides. Sometimes you'll see a crouper, not that often, but this is just all stitched in and you've got to take the strap off here and just slip it underneath the tail. It just doesn't work that good. Um, I think if you have a horse that's knows a crouper and has been, you know, had a crouper a lot of times, it'll probably be fine. But on a young horse that you start for the first time, um, these with the buckles, it's just going to make your life a whole lot easier. Then also what I've got here, I've got a, already got a rein buckled here to one of these Ds. And I'm going to use this as a little breast collar. And uh, when I get this on the horse, I'll, I'll show, it, show you why I do this. Um, so when we go ahead uh, and get ready to put equipment on this horse, or the sourcing in this case, I'm going to make sure that my helper is standing here on the same side as I am. Um, and the reason being, if I, if I go and mess around with this horse's rear end and they, they kind of touchy they're, and they want to kick me, they're going to try and push their hind end in towards me. And if I have somebody here at the head, that when that happens, they can just pull that horse's head around towards us and the hip should swing out that way and, and they can't give me, um, get me quite as easy. Now, uh, just so you know, you know, this is not a bad spot um, as far as safety goes, but some horses will still be able to get you. Uh, some horses can cow kick you. Mules uh, are real accurate. They'll be able to kick you standing right here. So, you know, just know that um, this is still kind of a dangerous spot and you kind of got to be aware of what your horse is thinking or uh, be on your toes a little bit. Uh, this horse knows what's going on. It's, a, it's an older broke horse, but uh, it's good use him for a demo. So the first part, what I'll do is put the source signal over them, bump it around a little bit so they know it's coming. Then I'll, the rein that I've got attached to the other side, I'll bring it around the chest and I'll just tie this to the D here. And then I can reach down and buckle this. And I sell them, even on my on my older horses, I just won't buckle this down really tight. It just gets them cinchy. So I'll just get the snug. Um, and then once I've walked the horse out to wherever I want it, I'll, I'll kind of uh, cinch it up in, in gradual increments. Now the way this is set up, I can actually take this off. If this was the first time that my horse was um, had a surf single on at this point. Um, I'll snap a lunch line on, on him and step away, and he'll probably take off, maybe buck, do whatever he wants to. I can get closer to him again, and I can tighten it up a little bit more. they got to get used to that girth pressure one way or another, but I just like to do it in increments. And this is going to prevent the sur single from becoming a bucking strap. Um, if I didn't have this and this was a little bit loose, it can ride back here, and then you've got a situation on your hands. So this kind of keeps it nice to the front, too. Um, once they can carry that around, they can walk, trot, and canter on the lunch line with it. I'll go ahead and introduce the crouper, um, slip it through the D here at the top, and I'll put this strap as long as I can. I'll do it on the last hole, so this is as long as it goes. 
I want to be able to just get it under there real easy, not have to pull up, pull up any other kills. That's uh, very hard. Um, unbuckle this strap here. I'll reach back. And then the second thing that I like to do, and I teach um, people that work for me, when I go for their tails, get as much of these hair as I can. And then what you can do is make it easier on the horse. Instead of forcing the crouper when, they're, when their tails are tight, some horses have got real tight tails, others don't care. But what will relax this tail is if you can get your hand in there, you can just rub their butt, just like that. And this will relax the tail. You can do this a few times until they get real comfortable. Some horses, their tails will go right over their back. And this one's kind of a medium, I would say. Others are real, you know, they suck that tail down real hard. But anyway, again, check for the hair. Get as much of the hair as you can. Then you get your crouper and you slip it under, slow, make contact, and then drop the tail gently. At this point, you might want to stand out of the way, kind of see what your horse is about to do. Like this one's real relaxed, obviously. I'll go and buckle it up. If your horse looked like it was going to throw a fit, maybe pet on him and then uh, get it buckled and turn him loose because he's probably going to kick at it. So I got that in. I can adjust it again. Get it underneath there. And then I finally I adjust this strap here. And I like it to be able to put a hand underneath it, about like that. Um, when they're going to get in trouble with this is when this is too loose and it kind of rides down there and they pinch their tails down and that doesn't feel that good to them. They'll go to bucking with that. If it's too tight, um, that'll cause them to. Typically, the trot won't set it off so much as the first time you're going to canter them because the way they take off the canter, they'll tuck their butt and this will kind of clamps down and that's unfamiliar to them. So one thing you've got to watch when you start using crouper on a young horse and they do maybe buck with it, um, they will sometimes get little scabs or sore underneath their tails just from the friction there. So every time you, um, you put the crouper on, you want to just kind of check on, these, on the young ones if there's any scabs or anything underneath there. If there is, you can Vaseline that up a little bit um, or you may just have to give a few days for it to heal up. Um, it's not a big deal. You know, it'll heal up really quick, but um, be aware of that because if you don't pay attention to that, they can get real bad about it. And then, again, the hair, make sure you've got all the hair out because if that hair is between the crouper and the tail, this is a pretty sensitive area. The hair will cut into the tail and cause a problem. Um, and then when you take the crouper off or the surf single off, I always go from the crouper. If I was on, I'll unbuckle that and move to the front or we'll undo this, this little breast or rein that I got tied around as a breast collar. And then unbuckle this strap. What, what I don't like, and sometimes when you get into trouble, you'll see some people do this. Um, and that's fine if your horse is going to grow. Um, but you never know when they get spooked or they clamp that thing down. People will do this, undo this, and then kind of reach, bring this back and just kind of pull this off. Now already the horse's tail is clamped there, so you've got to walk in there and undo it. I just don't like that way. I think it's, you could get into trouble doing that. But um, that's kind of the sur single. It's a good piece of equipment to have and uh, fairly simple to use it. So. Um, uh, that's kind of it.